Hello fellow crafters, Jadine here and today I am going to show you how I made this beautiful birthday card for my dad. Um, nice little cross and floor de -lis birthday card. So if you'd like to see how I did this, be sure to stay tuned. Alright, for this card I'm going to be working with some black cardstock and believe it or not I actually got this pack of black cardstock from Goodwill and it was a pack of 15 cards with envelopes and I got them for a dollar and nine cents and the paper that I'm using um, was this 12 by 12 paper pack that I picked up at Walmart and it's called French Prep Designer Paper and I'm using the Fleur de Lis um, design because my dad is a Saints fan and so he'll definitely appreciate the Fleur de Lis and then the polka dot paper is from this little paper stack uh, also from Walmart 6 by 6 inch I just cut uh, the little pieces of polka dot paper from and then the um, little words I cut from a stack of and I don't have it all uh, right at my fingertips was from a Tim Holtz stack of paper that I had gotten on sale from Hobby Lobby it was like a $15 stack of paper that I got and it was really thick like almost cardstock thick paper um, that I picked up on sale at Hobby Lobby for like five dollars. It was a really expensive stack of paper I got for five bucks. And then this little uh, Project Life card I got from also from a clearance rack at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was a it has 50, 60 themed cards in it. Um, it was six. 99 I got it on sale for two dollars and fifteen cents for the whole pack so uh, pretty awesome deals if you shop around card making doesn't have to be expensive so I'm gonna start with the outside and I like to have just a little tablet of paper handy because I have had to do a lot of work to get sticky stuff off my work surface I guess I need to make um, one of my favorite crafting YouTubers is the Frugal Crafter, Lindsay Wyrick. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. And she made her own little, uh, uh, this tape runner here is about to make me crazy. It just isn't working properly. But she made her own little kind of scrap pad of black paper. Uh, I'm trying to remember what she called it. Kind of like for daubing her ink pads on and uh, just to protect her work surface while she's gluing and stamping and such. Check her out. She's the frugal crafter and she has a lot of good tips. She's a really talented artist. But she makes a lot of her own art supplies. She's really When I first got this tape runner, I loved it and it worked like a charm, but here lately it has been a complete thorn in my side. But I still have refills I haven't used, so I refuse to throw it away until I'm completely done with it, but it is driving me crazy. Alright, crisis averted for the moment. I'll go ahead and get this centered as evenly as possible. Of course nothing is perfect when you are handcrafting. I'm going to rephrase that. Nothing is perfect when I am handcrafting. <laughs> but I love doing it so I'm okay. And now it did occur to me to cut these you know like really perfectly even and then 
I really just decided that they would just visually look more interesting if they weren't perfectly even, but I think they really need to be even more uneven. So I haven't really exactly decided on the placement and now I don't know where in the world the rest of the words went. I've been editing a bunch of other video today so things have gotten moved about quite a bit. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the general layout the way I want it. And one of my B's just went com completely MIA. So I found a, a completely different kind of B from another project that was left over. So I'm just going to go with it. It is what it is. It's what art is all about. Sometimes you just have to make it work. So now that I've got the general placement down, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing it all down. And you can see I, I went ahead and cut these pieces down a little bit because I did like them a little bit smaller. Worked on my tape runner and it's behaving a little bit nicer for the moment. I really just do like it for these straight pieces. And I just fizzled out again. I'm going to go to the dot runner. really I have struggled with what am I going to use to adhere these letters down with um, I'm just not sure what is going to be the best adhesive I thought maybe the dot runner, but they're, these little letters are so delicate. I'm just not sure that the dot runner isn't going to be too rough on them. Yep, just rip the H right off. Okay. And the only thing that, the only problem I have with the glue pen, which is probably going to be the best choice, but it's just the length of time that it takes it to dry. But I'm afraid it is the only option I've got here. Well, it would appear that what works out a little bit better for me than anything is to actually just kind of squeeze out a little puddle of this glue and then just take the piece that I'm gluing down with my tweezers and just kind of dip it, blot it off a little bit. And then lay it down because it these delicate little pieces are the hardest you want them to get glued down well but getting glue applied to them in such a way that it's not sloppy can be a bit of a challenge I cannot tell you a lie. This glue smells really bad. I don't know what's in it, but it smells terrible.
Y is just being, or that I rather, is just being very stubborn. Let's see if I can't. Okay, now somewhere around here, there it is, I see it. A little dot for the eye. Okay, this cross might look as delicate as the letters were, but it's not. So it's actually sturdy enough for me to just run over it with uh, my dot runner. And it's holding up quite nicely to that. <gasps> and of course, as soon as I say that, because I'd already run over that area with the sticky stuff, so my bad. Oh yeah. It's just really been one of those kind of crafting days. I've kind of had a Murphy's Law sort of day today. Just remember, once the adhesive is laid down, it really is very, very sticky. So handle with care. Handle your projects with care once you've applied adhesive. Go ahead and just try and line this up so that the tear is not noticeable. Whew, that looks Okay, I'm relieved. It really and truly has been a frustrating day with craft work today. And the tape runner was acting crazy again. I don't even know if I should attempt it. Okay, and then I'm going to think I'm going to give the glue stick a little try. Run it. Now, you know what? The dot runner has been working like a champ. It has been performing consistently. So I think I'm just going to Stick with it. You know the old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm gonna put that right there. Of course, I'm gonna write my dad a lovely little note telling him happy birthday, that I love him to pieces. It's the completed card, have a blessed birthday. Of course, I'm going to do a quick little blog post where I'm going to mention the products used and the cartridges that I used to cut the images out with and the letters. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. You're the best. I hope you enjoy this card making. If you would like to see more card making tutorials, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And you guys have a blessed day.